things. And they were kept compartmentalized for a reason. Something that's worth uh, uh, noting about, uh, MACV did pretty effective intelligence work overall. <clears throat> and it, the American intelligence in Vietnam had access to a whole lot of enemy communications and such. As John Plaster in his standout work, SOG, The Secret Wars, documents, using the NVA figures, not American estimates, for every American Green Beret that was killed in SOG operations, at a minimum, there were 700 NVA that were killed. There has never been a loss rate like that in any American uh, war. I don't know if there's been one like that in any war that we could find. And it was the air support that made it uh, possible. And what these men did was astonishing. And so it, it, with regard to what uh, uh, Phil was saying, what kept you alive as much as anything and this came hard for young men, was the lesson, as as a gray-haired SF sergeant told me when I was a newbie there, he just said, listen, you want to live through this? I got two words, pay attention. And whether <laughs> you lived or you died depended in so many cases on paying attention because it was the little things that would get people and you just, does that make sense, uh, Phil, Frank, that the importance? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I got I got to make one more comment, too. Um, uh, that book that Frank Greco uh, wrote, it's called A Running Recon. Mm -hmm. And it is a pricey book. You can find it on Amazon. And it's well written, well documented, and extremely over 700 pages, and there's a ton of photographs in there. Mm -hmm. And for anybody that's interested in the SOG mission, yeah, I would uh, I would recommend owning that book or maybe checking it out at the library if you can find one. It's called Running Recon by Frank Greco. And Frank rode my backseat a couple of times, mm -hmm. and we oh. had some fairly interesting experiences. Um, anyway, he, he was a great backseater. And, and Mike Buckland, uh, you know, I give him credit for uh, – helping to keep me alive because he knew the trail better than any SPAF pilot because he had been, been over there. I think, uh, Mike, I think you were on your third tour when you were flying. With yes. Us. Yeah. Uh, he, he knew the territory. He knew, uh, he, he knew to, to tell us, you know, don't fly around the bra. That's not a good place to go. And, and uh, a couple of other things too. When, 